Hi, John here. Um, today is Sunday, the 28th of August 2016. I'm just in Whakatane at the moment. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning on Sunday, and uh, I thought I'd just stop here for a little bit and have a rest from driving uh, from uh, Port Awanui, Rotoria. Uh, at our meeting um, was a success apart from a couple of little things that went on uh, some things I wasn't so happy with but however it came out okay for the old people to support the tidal turbines uh, to go out on the Ranfilly Bank and that's all that mattered from the Marae. And um, some of Kingi Taurua's friends, Te Maros, were there. And uh, good on them for coming. And that connects up to Waitangi Marae. And straight to Britain, UK, Westminster. From the Marae to Marae and to Westminster. Beautiful day today. Not a cloud in the sky here in the county. Just thought I'd often see Jamie on the way through. Got all the time to wander all the way to Auckland. Stopped in Waiho Bay and had a, a sleep there. And watched everybody pouring out of the pub. I couldn't go any further. I couldn't drive anymore because I was too tired and uh, been talking for quite some time after leaving about 7 o'clock in the evening, dark, and I didn't want to hit a cow. I saw some cows on the road uh, at um, Cape Runaway. So one is just standing there in the road, and uh, I saw him. But, however, I got this far. Just eat my way back to Auckland on a beautiful day like that. So, um, from that meeting at uh, Te Horo Morai, I was happy with the outcome, uh, although I did get the internet on there. It does work on that Morai, and I was able to show um, the tidal turbine project there and felt a bit impressed with that and how it all works. Uh, so it was better to throw it up on a screen and blow the whole pictures up on the wall but I just showed from the laptop. And it was slow, the connection was slow, but it worked very, very good. So that was a plus there. And so um, that made things a little easier. I just needed to tell one they knew. The old people picked it up. They picked it up. First of all, it was a pipe screen, but then the reality set in. We don't do it, someone else will. Nothing new, nothing new for tidal turbines in the ocean, and uh, it's a massive amount of power if you can get that sort of resource. So from that, uh, I'm going to leave things in the hands of people, and um, I'll be carrying on with the funding uh, when I get back to Auckland, and I'm just going to enjoy myself today in the sun. I was quite sad, really, with the young people there. Um, I've got different views on on their own problems, but I think the smoke, the marijuana, has got a big problem there. I can see that. That's what's going to crowd over this business, so I put an end to that. I won't have any um, misbehaviour in front of the marae with people who smoke dope and the 
they're not the same people. But that's just something I picked up on my first approach to the Marae, that I'll never tolerate with it. So with that, I must say that Desmond Wanoa, my nephew and I, are part of it. And uh, Lenny Atkins was just short of misbehaviour on the marae. Those two upset me. I just want to make this announcement that Desmond let me down badly. So I just want to leave it there and I'm going on my own through this journey which has taken a big toll on me so far with trying to get these projects off the ground. This was my last stand at Marae because all the other Marais and the people there, including my own family, went against everything I've ever done. That's why you've never seen anything in the water or on the land with me because I've had trouble with trustees all along, over 20 years with trustees and was never able to get my point across. Finally, I've found three old men and an old lady that's given me consent. That's all I needed from that marae, just one marae, to support what I'm saying. And they listen. They listen to me. What's the pipe dream? It was something of an opportunity. It's missed. It's been missed right up to now. And I thought, this is my last chance before I let it go on the open market. And that will create other interest in what I do in the sea. I've spent a lot of years researching everything that's going to happen is carefully thought of. And everybody that ever helped me has helped in their own way, but it's hasn't been the type of help I'm looking for. Banking, finance, land titles, research on history, and where's our place in the world. So with Napoli's flag, the Confederation flag, the Declaration of Independence, 1835, I've taken it to its highest level of a king's status. I'm not king. I'm there to speak for the King, because no one is, King William IV. So we have some traction with that side of our contract to Britain. And I'm bringing Britain straight into Port Awanui, and that's all they want to hear, is something different to what they've been accustomed to. The complaint from the old people was that they never get a say with anything about land. Never. And that's the same with me. We were saying, singing the same tune. And the young fellows were saying, well, we're not waiting for you. That's what I say to you, Lenny. You tip that marae upside down, even though you live across the road, but you're not one of the landowners. That was the problem with you. You wouldn't move. You wouldn't go when I said to go. It's unfortunate that I have to tell you to leave the marae. It was mine for the day. And I take that report to the marae and to the Maryland court and to Te Tumutumu Pairo. So what happened there at the marae, the minutes, and what happened, especially what happened to me. It's the same old thing with the young fellows knocking the old fellows around and that's why nothing gets done because they'll just squash everything out and it's got to go through them and to knock us around and tell us this and that that you're doing it your way fine you can do it your way you look after yourself and I'll look after myself that's all I want to say to you publicly on Facebook he said, don't put it on Facebook. I said to you, go and complain to Facebook when I talk about what happened to
to me and you there. Everything else was all right until you waited for the old people to go and then you came in and started messing up the place. It wasn't finished yet. I went right through to four o'clock as advertised and waited for people to come. It's not my fault if people don't come, but the main old people came and that matters much to me. They've got a history in their head. You can't fool those guys. See, I go straight for them. As far as I'm concerned, they're the, the ones that carry things through on that marae, and I treat marae with respect when it comes to Tomata and Komatua. So that's my story. I just want to say that because I'm just unwinding from a, a tense situation, especially with people who smoke dope. They don't know that what they're saying half the time just pours out, and for me that doesn't smoke or drink, I've got a clear head on me that's watching what you say, not nice, but um, anyway, on a better note, uh, just um, keep in touch with Jamie, because a lot of people have been with me on this journey, but they've ho always got their own little problem, Desmond's got his little problem, I said you look after your problem. I don't need a problem when I'm running business. This is a business, it's commercial, and it's to do with the land, to do with what I want to do there, and to do with people that want to come and listen and learn, not to tell me what to do, not to say I'm sick, not to say things that have nothing to do with what I want to say on the marae. That was the problem. You and Lenny, Desmond, went somewhere else to talk about something else. And I felt that it was better by myself because I don't have to worry about problems. I'm saying these things publicly because you've been with me for over five years and unfortunately I can't work a business with this other problem lurking about. I want to carry on going and somebody will fill that spot from anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be Maori, but I'm saying it. this is my last chance with Maori because I've been knocked around all these years. Even my brother knocked me around. And now my nephew's knocked me around. And I'm saying this publicly because I've spent a lot of time thinking about what to do. And I'm about to do it with the people who believe. Okay, so that's <coughs> really getting that off my shoulder because I don't like carrying those things around me. And I'm in for the time and I'm enjoying my little peace. Marai was good to me. First time I've ever been on that marae. And I've gone away with the result I went to get from that marae and the other marae that came. Uh, Temaro, Tama Temaro, with the respect to Kingi, you up there at Napui, Boise Temaro came, and uh, his brother and his wife, Pakeha. So, you know, I said, I'm, I'm making progress with Pākehā as well. Um, so <laughs> we have to continue with what we do. So anyway, I want to show you the day and uh, stand back here and show you I'm sitting well so far, wind myself up and get going. Uh, where I went to high school, from the time of high school. Um, we had 900 people in the school and boys and girls. Kerry Hudson was down here and uh, Jimmy Hudson was down here um, and also um, um, other ones I know, other people I know. 
that live here, Linda Martin. These are the ones I hung around with. Sh Shirley Warner, um, Trudy Tedrick, Trudy Tedrick, uh, Morgan, the girl Morgan, Bella Morgan. Yeah, so it's just my friends in them day. The girls always be mischief um, here at school. Don't go to church. Um, but um, on Landing Road, uh, Knox Church. Uh, but the school was sort of um, alright. It was alright, but um, however, that's a little bit of me from here. I'm just uh, relishing the, the time I've had to, to think I used to come here in this commercial hotel here and had black polish on me. And, older and had the flagons. I'd take the flagons to get filled and they filled them. That's when I was still going to high school in the fifth form. Now I can tell you now, but too late now, that they can't come and arrest me. Um, so oh, the other thing I wanted to say was with the court hearing and I wanted to race back to Auckland to go to my court hearing uh, with my barrister, Shannon Withers, I put it on Facebook that he texted me uh, to say that the case is all over, that you can't go back into it with Natalie Flower Dew Brown, and to take my case separately. Well, I've told him he's part of the fraud, conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud me and the public of New Zealand on those birth certificates with the altered birth certificate date as me or somebody being 1964 Hawani John Wanoa living at the same address as me birthday that the registrar signed and I signed the Hawani Wanoa with the wrong birth certificate date All right? and on the other documents with Natalie Flower Dew Brown signing it and writing in her own handwriting, John in lowercase and Wanoa in uppercase. So she's forged those legal documents, they call it, the police law. I'm contesting him now for handling my case and just cutting me off from my own court case. He's lumped everything with the other marshals, had nothing to do with me. You see, he's broken. Shannon, with us, you're watching this video, you know what you did. I'm going to take you to the High Court in London through the company I've set up there for fraudsters. I'm calling you a fraudster. I'm calling you on this video a fraudster today of what you did to as an accessory to those fraud documents. It's the documents that are fraud. The case was with, it was dismissed in the court. The police did not drop the case. And you wrote on the order for, and, and uh, emailed to me that we were acquitted. No, I want, I, want, I want to go to court. But you said no court. You did it without me. I was not in front of the judge. You made a ruling without me and text me to say my court hearing is next week. That's tomorrow, Monday, the 29th of August, 2016. You see, I prepared myself for that day, tomorrow. And you said there won't be any court hearing there. You see, you're making the rule in contradiction to me as being you've disclosed my private information others to get those marshals and all those other people I had nothing to do with off the hook with my citations you've quoted I'm taking it to the High Court in London to open and split you people all up the judge and all the registrar for forging those documents you're not going to get away with it I'm shocked as much as a lot of people reading those documents I put online to expose you all. If I didn't do that, no one would know. 
Okay, you're not getting away with police. It's the most corrupt people in this country. It's the New Zealand police. Okay, the New Zealand police have corrupted their business, corporations. Pope Francis destroyed all those. You're not allowed to use those laws on me. It's up to me to tell you that they have been removed. You can't use them. The argument is you have to prove that you can. You have to prove, Jenna, you, you've disreputed all the lawyers in this country and the bar association by going along with the police papers. The police put those papers together and you've gone and endorsed them. You've endorsed them. The court has endorsed them. Your court taking money off me. You've stolen money off me. Shannon Withers and paid yourself through the judge and the registrar, sheriff. That's the Queen's Bench Court. I'm in the King's Bench Court, the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, to the High Court of Admiralty in London, King's Bench Court. You see, you're not so smart after all. You're going to have to prove me wrong. You're going to have to go to court and prove me wrong. You see, all the people that have done all these things to me. You know, I have a one thing to say to you. Look at yourself in the mirror and see how you got there. And what you what do you what do you have to back it up? What evidence have you got? You see why the judge dismissed the court case? Insufficient evidence from the police. You know what it was? No seal of the thing, no seal of the court, no seal of the bar association, no seal from anything. Yet I'm got a seal on my hat and on my shirt, which was confiscated. I got a bone to pick with you, Natalie Flower do Brown, for stealing my shirt. You stole it. The police and you stole it. And my medication. The worst thing of all is my medication. You stole my medication. My sense of life from me and left me for dead. See, I'm saying these things on this video, on this nice day where I should be talking about nice things, I should be talking about tidal turbines. I ended up yesterday talking about tidal turbines from the video on the internet on Te Horo Marae. Right? It worked. It was slow, but it worked. So, that's really of what my week was, the court hearing, squash, just like, just puff of smoke, gone. The police here covered it up, covered up the fraud, the lawyers covered up the fraud, you, Shannon Withers, covered up the fraud in that land title. You covered it, I'm going to whip it all open in I court in London, and they're going to recover it because they're our partner with Kingi Total on Waitangi Marae, on his land. You see, we're going to seize his land back and seize every other piece of land in this country back. Okay, because it's been derived fraudulently. So the no end date, 1843 of Waitangi, and now this, with the police being caught out, the judge being caught out, the registrar of the court being caught out, and you, Shannon Weather, Shannon, uh, barrister and lawyer from Vulcan Chambers, you're going to get the bill. You're going to get bill trillion pound on your head and your company's head from Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Corporate Trust Company London Company's House. Okay, just, just telling you, I set it up for fraudsters under that flag of King William IV made for pirates and thugs and thieves, vagabonds. Okay, it's still live at the contract flag in Westminster. I just need to go to Westminster, put that flag up on Waitangi, on Kingy's land, on that King William IV ship of Admiralty, with a direction from Westminster and the Navy in Britain. As soon as I get the money, pay them. Up she goes. And that's the end of you, John Petty. And Jerry Mother Parai.
Andrews. It's the hanging rope or jail for you. And you, Shannon. And all those people on Cook Street. All right? Cook Street is a classic example of a land transfer fraud mortgage. There. I said it. I said it because I've been in mortgage broking for a long time and real estate in Remiro. So I should know what I'm doing. And native land titles. Customary law. Okay? I had to be there as a native assessor for our land. There's no one proficient enough to protect our land in our own court. The King's Bench Court, that ship of Admiralty next to Waitangi Marae, in the treaty ground, is our authority of this country, with the flag sitting opposite the British flag on the crossbar. That's the partnership between Britain, Westminster, Navy, and military, and King Itaurua chief. He's a king in his own right. And it's his call. It's now Boyce Timaro's call. And Iru Painga from that Marae on my land. I call it my land because it's their land. It's Tingi land. It's, it's, it's all those native land. The real chief. Okay? That's all I wanted. Just the right chief to back me up. They back me up in the court in London. When I go to London, to Westminster, and the High Court of Admiralty in London, online, I will do these cases online for anything over 200 million. This is a trillion pounds on each of your heads. People that got in my road and tampered with our information. That's why the police didn't drop it. They just got caught out. The judge saved me back and said to the police, better drop it because you have no evidence against John, Wanoa, not those other marshals. They don't have commercial trust and corporation documents. I have. And I'm a landowner with the title to Auckland and Waitangi. I told King that already. I told him I got the Utatonga title with one house in the whole of the Bay of Islands and the Manukau land title in Auckland, straight to Scotland, Glasgow, and straight to Westminster. Now, put your title in front of me. That's why I keep saying, John Key, put your title in front of me. And I will put this one in front of you, in front of anybody, right through the world. Okay? Nothing. Absolute nothing. You see, now I've got the Pope eight point star on my hat, the sheriff's hat with his King William seal and King William's ship of admiralty on Waitangi Treaty Ground. That's on my hat. That's the authority of the Pope and St. Patrick's Order. The eight point star and the Vatican. That's my authority. Plus the king. There, that seal is on my dolphin. No one's going to touch it because it's a patent brand name. Maui, King William IV, St. Patrick Order. The highest order in the world is on my head. Did you hear that? That's what I just said. The chief up there is saying that's in order on the commercial side, not the land, the commercial side, and the authority to make commerce work around the world with that land. So that's really what I'm saying in this video. They're getting longer, but I'm putting more depth in it, putting more substance in my videos, and telling you as it is, as it happened. It just happened just now, yesterday. Right, the young fellows got in my road, had predetermined ideas about what they were going to do on that farm. No kosher all day. Right? Didn't think about me with 
what I want to do, to do there. No interest. Not, not a bit of interest. Saying, oh, don't talk, go and do it. I haven't even got on the land yet. I haven't secured the title of the land and the lease yet. I'm going through the authorities, I'm going through the proper channels, I'm not being smart. I'm just being business minded and corporate minded. I'm doing the King's Bench Court Martial Order Corporate Trust System. The other side, where the iwi is, is the Queen's Bench side. She's nowhere to be seen for dust. She's gone, people. She's gone. That's how fraud works, in mysterious ways, in the monarchy system. Okay, so that's my sort of rights, if you what you'd call it. But I'm getting it off my shoulder when I go back to Auckland. It's all the shares in the tidal turbine that Facebook has got their salespeople there with a billion shares, uh, 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 members, investors for this turbine. I don't have to say too much about it. It works. Okay. I've taken all my calculations and figures, research off the Scottish turbine way back 12 years ago on CGN, windmill type turbine, 1.2 megawatts. Now I'm taking my figures of the hydraulic ram on the wave star in Scotland. Um, float, float um, turbines. They're not exactly tidal turbines, they're wave motion mechanical energy into hydraulic energy, pump water back to shore to spin their generator. Okay, so what I'm doing is hydraulics down this way at the bottom of the ocean with a six meter pump, right? With big blades, big blades, with the tide movement in tons per square inch. That's different to that and solar and wind and everything else won't match the tidal force of tons of a wall of water going that way. Right? And I'm stalling the whole lot with big paddles into mechanical energy, into hydraulic energy, into electricity, split the water and compress it with the hydraulics into gas, Electri uh, gas, liquid hydrogen and solid metal hydrogen stored. Power. Okay, so they got it. Those old people and the young fella got it. Uh, really paying a son got it. And I've left them in charge of everything. There with their executive. Because I can't afford mistakes or interruption or stupid. what I got from my nephew, but uh, that's the end of that. I don't need to put up with it anymore. I've cut ties with you, Desmond, on this video. And trade girl, with Lenny now, you first can do your own business because your minds are not on this. You didn't come there for me, you came there for yourself. So the block is going in other management now. This video is to part ways and I'll keep going on my own. It's quicker if I did everything myself and teach one person who listens. You're not listening. That's what this young fellow says. Not young exactly, but it is some says they're not listening to me. That's what it is in here. He was left there to look after the Marae, to make sure there's no trouble. Unfortunately, there was, but however, that's gone now. And I'll sail on my way home and enjoy the day. And then with these shares, um, uh, with the um, Facebook, 
I always make things public uh, before I put the prospectus out and the articles of association for Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company, which is in London, not here in New Zealand, in London. So everything is in the British pound note currency, which is going to put the Moai pound note on a par. I'm putting the chiefs in Rapanui on the Moai to themselves. And Desmond, you'll be removed from the Moai, and it's going back to Rapanui. Uh, hit, hit the Rocky. Hit the, hit, hit the, he starts, his name starts with H, anyway. Hit, hit the Rocky. Hit. Um, on the Moai to talk for himself and his Moai. That's us, but he has to tell the story because it's not Maori. It's not Maori. It's Moai that I'm talking to. Okay? No offense, but that's the way I feel about that side of the history. I've got to put it right. Um, and take that off on a single pound note just to make this announcement of a pound note, the one pound note is a share we'll have Hitorangi, Hitorangi, that's his name, Hitorangi face on that pound note with Moai okay, that's just this alteration I'm making amendments to what I already have on Facebook to make sure we get that part right Moai people can talk for the Moai. We'll talk for this land here. But I'm tending to be more Moai focused than what's happened to Maori have been bastardized by Pākehā in their history because of native title has gone astray. And I'm trying to straighten it up on that Moai and on Kati Moai and Waitangi Moai back to its original self-state. It's managed by John Key's government because the Maori, Iwi, corporations belong to John Key and the national government and the Crown Corporation. We are Crown too, King William Crown and Moai Crown. Right? The Moai here was stolen from Hitorangi. It has to return to Hitorangi. Only Hitorangi can speak for Maui, not me. Okay, the Maui is here, but he has to come here. I have to bring him here to uplift it or to do what he says with it. If it has to go home, it has to go home. Someone in London got to go home, he's got to go home. If he says it stays there, it stays there. That's our mana. That's our Moai brand name worldwide patent right copyright name to Tahiti to Tainui to Natifro to Ngapuhi Kai here. That's their DNA to that island to Mopiti Island to the Hatai Shin Island. Uh, that's that part that I'm standing here to represent the forgotten mana title inside the head of Maui. It can't be something else. You can't do something. I'm using that spirit to put it right in the right place on that Maroi that I went to, to Horo Marae, has the spirit in the Marae, straight to that Maui, straight to the Maui of Waitangi, and the Maui in Auckland, and Dunedin, straight to the Maui in London, Brussels, <coughs> France, New York, Washington DC, Chile, 
Singapore, usually, and other countries where they've been stolen and put on. But those are the main ones where our mana lies to its place in the world. The flag of King William allows us to go around the world and the 250 countries we're going to with this new company, Maai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited. Registered with 999999999 shares. So I'll explain that in another video when I get home. I'll put the new constitution together for Australian investment company and for uh, Facebook. One billion uh, membership membership. They've got 1.6 billion people following in Facebook. So they've approached me, and I'm going to take them on and YouTube on and Twitter to put their funding into this project. That's just London, England. Those shares just for one country and then put them right through the 250 other countries for their free shares. Okay? I'll just explain it this way. We have one pound shares, 25 pound shares, 50 pound shares, 100 pound shares, and 1,000 pound shares. The rule is this. You get a free one pound share and you purchase a one pound. One pound free for a one pound share to buy. With the 25 pound, you get 25 pound share free if you buy 25 pounds worth of single one pound share with Hitoromi or another chief in Rapa Nui. Then, you get a 50 pound share and free and purchase a 50 pound great Britain pound note equivalent to a Moai pound note with our own currency share okay the same with a thousand pound share so what we're doing here is raising 12.5 billion pounds for the first turbine at the East Coast and in Dover, England. Could be in Scotland as well, but those are the two that we're promoting here in crowdfunding or investor funding on a level playing field. You can buy a whole chunk of shares and we're already got interest in investors from different parts of the world, not just limited to one country. It's going global. Once we get the first one spin, it's gone. Okay, so those countries that take the turbine on, in America for instance, they get one there too, right in front of their nose. At the same time, after these two kick off, they get there. And so we're raising 12.5 billion from a 50 pound share. Right? So that's what it costs to do five blades on a single 50 meter by 50 meter volume down to 100 meters thick. On the Ranfilly Bank at the east coast, we only need two blades. Right? So it's working out at 500 megawatts per blade. So that's a thousand megawatts coming off Ranfilly Bank on only two blades. There's 2,500 of five blades stacked up down like that around a vertical uh, axle. So now we have that revenue. As long as the turbine spins, It'll produce three times as much. That's twelve, thirty-six, well, five hundred. Sorry, five hundred megawatts. Um, five 
five, five, like that's a thousand megawatts of power from two blades on a single shaft and 50 meter by 50 meter square platform in the sea like an oil rig. Okay, that's the amount of power we're talking about is against the Scottish wave star generator with their floats. 10 meter floats times uh, 20 of those, 200 meters long, decked with the hydraulics in it. 200 meters long, we're only 50 meters by 50 meters pulling out more than that. They're pulling 6 megawatts from that size of 50 meters wide by 200 meters long. They're pulling out only 6 megawatts. We're pulling out 1,000 megawatts from 50 meters by 50 meters square. And we're pulling out 25, 2,500 megawatts from the same 200 meter length with three of these five sets of blades on it. 2,500 megawatts from the same space they use. Okay, with depth, that's down to 100 meters depth. It's the depth where the power is, not flipping around the top of the water. So this is the difference between that hydraulic system and this one I'm talking about. I'm just explaining to you how it works. So out of these blades, we pull out three times as much revenue. The initial investment is 12.5 billion from five blades, pulls out 36 billion a year. But in a two blade system, that's a thousand megawatts. <coughs> is what we're targeting on the Ranfilly Bank in shallow water. That's only in 40 meters of water depth. Right at the top of the ridge where the water screams over the top. That's where we're catching extra uh, energy. All we're doing is stopping the wave, the, the tide. While it's going that way, five knots, we, we stop it at zero or one knot. There's the power. Stop standing there, put the blade up in a tide, moving the whole lot. It's thick, 40 meters thick wall of water going that way. And it hits the blades and the blades stop it. So it has to go around the edge. In the result is it turns. Okay? That's the power we're talking about here. So people, that's what you're investing in. When you buy a share, the, the power note shares was designed for normal people that have very little. You'll get a slice of the big companies putting in a lot of money and buying the 50 pound shares for a starter. So that's how that works. So that's all I want to say. I think that's enough, long enough. <coughs> it's about nine o'clock now. <coughs> and I'll just call Jamie while I'm here in Pakistan if you can see her. And uh, head back to Auckland. Because I've still got her St. Patrick. The name Patrick is why it's on my hat. The sheriff, <coughs> the sheriff's hat. And St. Patrick, I'll tell you a little story about St. Patrick. King William III booted King James the second Catholic off the throne and he rescued St. Patrick order of church in in um what's that supposed to get? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Um starts with an L. Uh in Ireland and installed it in Westminster. And then when King William came, a fourth, it continued on that path with eight-point star on our flag, the King William IV, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, with eight-point star in four corners of the earth. Now, Atua e Wa Aotea Limited is our company here, registered in New Zealand, carrying the four corners of the earth, eight-point star. Now, Atua e Wa Aotea Limited company registered with one of the trillion shares, 999, 999, 999, 999.
Okay, shares. Um, here and the other company, and that's the limit. That's how far you, that's how, how many shares have gone to the end of it. Registered. <coughs> Currently registered corporation, trust company. And the new one started up, that was in 2012. Uh, 2012, that one. And the other one, um, my Fowlhouse Group Limited, Limited, was open and registered on the 15th of August, this month, 2016. So that's got one of a billion shares, one, a 999-999-999, okay, shares. So those two companies have got the most shares in the world of any company because of the 250 countries that each have a billion shares each. So when Facebook joins up, they've worked it out and figured it out. So when they put their billion shares in, we put it into 250 countries, the same billion shares. All those people have to do, the members, is buy a one pound share, get a free share, pound note share free, and they'll go right through the whole of 250 countries. That's 250 pounds they put into one in each country and they flag on our website, moaipowerhouse.com, limited, uh, moaipowerhouse.com, okay, um, website, and fill in there, but we're going to list the investment company or the investor company of Facebook, do that, so it's, I don't worry about it, it's quicker to go to their membership, and the membership will be stuck for life in it. Once you get in, it's very difficult to get out with a 3 to 1 ratio, return on investment. I'm saying that um, as a long shot. I've got to be proven wrong when the turbine starts spinning. Well, I'm assessing a 3 to 1 return. That means for every one pound you put in, you should have two pounds to live on in your mobile phone every week. You sh you'll have a free two pound here, return, we're going to pay out by the week. Now we've got to work it out with um, Facebook. That's their mobile phone get credited. Two pounds every week for one pound share. Okay? <coughs> and leave one in and live off two. That's just to get your ballpark clear. 25 pounds, you get 25 pounds a week by buying a 25 pound share. If you buy a 25 pound share in 250 countries, you'll get that right through the whole world, the same value will value our pound note up from the resources in the sea. Every resource we add to the turbine's output, the, our pound note goes up, while the other one, the Rothschild pound note goes down. Okay? It's going to squash it out of existence from the water, the biggest resource in the world. It surpasses gold on a scale water money currency. Okay, we've got that coming up. So that's all, people. I'll head off now into the yonder and go home. So it's from me, John Mono, and the other mystery man with all the money that I'm going to chase you, Barrister, Shannon Withers, where you got paid from, the mystery man, John Mono, in capitals, forge, name, I'm going after all that money from you. I want it back. You defrauded me of my inheritance account. Okay, you robbed me with the judge, the sheriff, or the registrar sheriff, the police, and the government robbed me of my birth certificate title. And when I get mine back, I'll get everybody back. Okay, it is gone forever more out of our sight. All the fraud on the queen side, it's gone. Now we can get their land back, wherever they are. And that's how it's going to work like that. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.